Hey everybody, this is AS Gaming coming to you guys with our second installment of Card Fight Vanguard. Thank you for joining me. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, and comment below. That way you can help this little channel grow. So now that all the formalities are out of the way, we are playing some premium format today. We are playing my favorite deck with my favorite clan, Victor Nova Grapplers. So I'm really excited for this. Now I'm gonna cut to when I get into a match, guys, so that way you're not standing around bored out of your mind. So I'll catch you guys when I get into a match. And we are back with a match, and it seems like we're going against a uh, Genesis player here. So I'm very curious how this is gonna work out. I wonder if this is some type of Zazan uh, variant of the deck? Or are we just playing a Artemis user? I'm gonna go for heads. And they go first. All right, so this is gonna be interesting. Looks like we're playing some type of a uh, Astral Poet variant of this, so I'm gonna stand and draw. Huh. We're gonna ride this. Then we're gonna draw for our starter skill. I'm really just gonna swing. Let's see what I get here. Ooh, he doesn't take damage for the first turn. So I don't have a great three that I can ride into. This is very interesting. I might. have to do something very interesting here so that's gonna protect me even though he's gonna be able to put that into soul and then draw a card still that's a very good card right there might I say uh, then I'm gonna say no guard for this one Ooh, waste of a heal, waste of a heal. We can't see it. All right, so I'm going to stand and I'm going to draw here again. A lot of grade twos. I'm going to ride the common grade two that we have. And I'm just going to leave it at that. It's going to be a one to pass. I am not getting a very offensive hand. So my opponent, my hand is weak. Hmm, I feel like they, oh, this is great. Is this just 14? I see nothing, intercepts. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to take this. I'm still gonna have to no guard this. And that was a grade three that I needed. Let's see if I get another one. Let's see if I can draw. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Because that is exactly what I like to see. Let's see. All right, so I have two open counter blast. I have a lot of rear guards that I can use to my advantage. I need power. I need power. That's what I need. I need power. I need more power than I need anything else. So I'm going to call, call, Call. I'm going to leave this column empty just because I have nothing to call there. My counter blasts are a little weak. So uh, I'm just going to battle right now. I'm going to go for this intercept lady right here. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm going to go 16K here. Straight for face. Okay. Uh, grade one skill. I'm going to counter blast, shove it in soul, stand, plus 2k, and draw a vanguard. 
I'm gonna soul blast that card right back out and flip. That's gonna be plus seven and then plus five. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I feel like I should swing with this, stand this, use the skill to give it plus 5k, which I am. Actually, when this unit attacks, skill, counter blast one, stand, uh, I'm gonna say rush so we can get plus 5k. And then I'm gonna do my Vanguard skill. So Soul Blast one. I'm gonna flip this. And then plus 10. And then that'll get become a 10 as well. And then I'm gonna swing Vanguard. He says no guard, so first check, draw trigger power, draw second check, third check, heal trigger, nice, power, heal. Uh, GB3, I'm gonna retire that, draw, swing. So now our hand went a little bit bad to a little bit good, which actually works out for us. We can always play around the fact that we don't have a Victor Vanguard. It looks like they're actually gonna try to get the actual plane going on here. So let's see what they have. So they're gonna Soul Blast 2, get an imaginary force on the Vanguard. Then I think this has a skill too. Counter Blast 1, uh, so they can get an imaginary marker. That's actually a pretty good skill right there. So when it's Soul Blasted, he gets, uh, he gets a Soul Blast. I'm sorry, Soul Charge, two more cards. When play, Soul Charge 1 for each of your units. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. Now I'm curious. So he's gonna soul blast. I'm sorry, counter blast one. And that was it. Wow, that's very, very interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna let that go. I'm sorry, let me zero out my uh, power here. Yeah, sure, you can have that too. And I'm gonna no guard this. Because even if your opponent damage denies you like this, you can always find a way back out of this. So for example, I'm going to uh, stand and draw. This is interesting. Um, hmm. I am going to re-ride. Just so I can get my gift marker. That's a perfect draw. That's great. That's great. So now I'm going to stride here. And because I need Victor as my name, I'm going to actually go into this uh, Victor right here. My Meteor Kaiser Victor. This is one of my cards to actually run into my deck during situations like this because I can uh, conserve my Counter Blast for other uses and still get the ability to hit and pressure my point into dropping a perfect guard so uh, i'm gonna activate my vanguard skill so vanguard flip a copy and he's good while i'm in here i'm also going to do my uh g guard skill so my g guard is i can soul blast one flip it over and then i can counter charge one all right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I have to find a target, which that's gonna be my restand target. Uh, 
yes. So blast one to uh, unflip in G zone. I mean in damage. What? Choose a card in your damage zone or circles and. Sorry guys, it's just a miscommunication between how it works. So I'm just showing him how it works because he needs to know like how this card actually works. So let me go back in here and flip that over. Flip, I call it that. I am going to then uh, call, call, actually I'm gonna call this here, call this here call that there because the way that I plan on swinging is 14 16 stand that plus 5k swing with it again swing okay so uh, I'm gonna battle here All right, so looks like my plan is actually coming to fruition. So I'm gonna do this uh, skill, counter blast one, stand plus 5K at 55. All right, uh, I'm gonna swing back with this. So that's 19. Okay, he gets that, but that's okay because I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna still attack Skill stand two four six so plus six k here and then plus six k here oh plus the fives so that's eleven so let's see how my opponent's gonna so he depends with that uh stand skill it's gonna go back into my deck shuffle and restand so that's a 15k column I'm gonna swing with this okay and then I'm going to swing I'm gonna say GB3 stand Plus 5k, so that makes it 16. And then rush. So plus 5, 10, 15. So that's going to be 31. And then first check, critical trigger. Uh, I'm going to give the power here. Crit to spinner. I'm sorry. Performer. Her old name used to be Magical Spinner. It's now Performer. Uh, second check, Stand Trigger. Hmm. I'm going to give it the power and that. And then third check. Ooh. Power, Stand. GG, man. GG. This was a great match. I really did like the fact that he wasn't using any uh, type of Zazen or anything like that. And it was really great. So uh, I don't want to uh, kind of sell you guys short. So let's actually go for another match if I can find it. But I'm going to again pause it and get right back to you guys when we get to a match. And we are back with another match going against uh, someone who seems to be playing Shadow Paladins this time. Again, sticking with my Nova Grapplers because this is a Nova Grappler video here. All right, so I'm going to definitely return my triggers and 
I'm going to apparently not draw grade three again for our second match. So I'm gonna shuffle. And the funny thing about it is I always feel like this shuffle algorithm was a little off. I like shuffling uh, my card fight Vanguard cards in actual person. So I get to go first this time. So I'm gonna ride. Since it's not that big of a deal, I'm gonna ride Shout. I am forgetting to draw and then I'm gonna pass my turn. So we're gonna see what my opponent's gonna answer to here. Okay, so it looks like we might be playing, uh, again, a non-Zazen deck, but we could be going against something even a little bit more scarier, Luard. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, is he gonna get a trigger? I was scared. If he got a trigger, I would have said cheater because that man called it. All right, so again, I got no grade three. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm going to let this happen. I'm still going to go for that card because you don't always want to give them counter blast, but then you don't want to accelerate them into, uh, hey, I got it. But that didn't cost him really a card in his hand anyways. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because I just brought him into Ritual. That much closer to Ritual 10. So he's 9 away now. So we'll see. This is just a discard. So he gets one drive this time. And it gets him into that. And he can use Nemain. So we'll see what's going to happen here. Uh, I'm going to no guard this. Ooh. I'm taking two this time. Let's see what I get. Okay, I got to draw into not a great three. And again, we lose Victor. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will not be G assisting. Instead, we're just going to boost and attack. We're going to make our opponent think that we don't have a great three. Or we're going to make them think that we are purposefully grade locking ourselves so that way we can actually stride before they do hmm i wonder if they're thinking the same thing are they like hmm i don't want to ride a grade three because wow they 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 are too also playing the grade two game so We'll see who can win at this, but I'm not really here to play the grade two game uh, guy. I really just couldn't ride to grade three. So we'll see. He hasn't activated that skill yet. He's looking for uh, a Mordred or a Blaster Dark from among them in his top seven. He's thinking about it, so I'm pretty sure he got both. He did not get anything. Uh oh. So he has some pretty good columns here. I just need one trigger to block two of these. So I'm curious which one's going to, I'll take it. Ooh, perfect. And I get a heal. I'm gonna say one and pray he doesn't get it. He didn't get it, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride and I'm just gonna battle, but I'm just gonna go for his masquerade here. Let's see what he's gonna do. So 15, he needs 10K to block it. No guard, all right, first check. Power stand, third check, or second check, I'm sorry. All right, so he lets it go. Our hand's looking pretty healthy. Uh, I don't know if he has the starter that he needs to counter charge. Or this could be a very interesting deck. Okay. Who do you go into? Okay. One of your heart cards. So. Okay. This card isn't all that bad because uh, 
when it attacks if your opponent vagrant is greater than your greater god must one send off your blaster dark link at plus 10k so does he have another blaster dark is the question is he gonna get a blaster dark off of this is the question he did okay so now he's able to do some very interesting things Okay, I figured he, I was like, what are you doing? I was like, why is he retiring? Is he gonna call his blaster dark behind his vanguard? Is that a thing? No. So let's see what this does. Uh, when this card would be called from hand, it must be called to rear guard with a unit. Okay, so he was able to counter charge one. Um, Is he gonna use this skill? I'm okay with retiring this. I really just called this for a purpose. Okay. Six cards in hand, about to be nine. Hmm. He can restand his blaster dark. He's gonna make sure it hits this first time. Okay. Hmm. But I'm not gonna let this hit, so 26. I'll let this hit, and I'll let it restand and get plus 10k. Because this is too powerful. And then this is gonna be 25, barring no triggers. To this let's see what we get let's see what he gets grade three grade one and grade one so nothing good i get another trigger i'm gonna put the heel in here now i have all four of my heels ladies and gentlemen all four of my heels luckily for me now i just need a simple 5k hmm how much do i want to pop off next turn not much uh let's see I need a simple 5k or a simple five K. Mm, there you go. I couldn't think. I need all these cards. All these cards are great. Um I'll take this. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna Stand and draw. I'm going to stride. Now, you guys might think that I'm actually going to stride into Bustard. But I feel like I need to stride into Victor. Just so I can... Mm, that's actually helping him. Let's see. He is truly about to win here, I think. Unless I can, I have to overpower him. I have to overpower him. So uh, I'm gonna do a Vanguard skill, counter blast one, draw. I'm gonna call this here, uh, restand skill to Vanguard. Call, call. Call. Three cards in soul. One, two. We'll work around this. Okay, so. I'm gonna swing, swing, swing. All right. I'm just going to keep swinging face. I'm going to keep swinging face. That's literally what's going to happen. That's okay. Oh, perfect. I'm keep going to I'm going to keep swinging face then. All right. 
So grade one, encounter blast, shove it in soul, stand, plus 2k, draw a card, vanguard. So last that same card out. I'm gonna flip this over. Plus, oh, that should be plus seven. And this should be plus five. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna use its skill of counter blast one stand. They both get plus two, plus nine, then plus two, Vanguard, Soul Blast one. I'm gonna flip this over, Oop. Uh, plus five, so that becomes a seven, and this becomes a 10. This is gonna stand and then this is gonna soul blast. This is going to flip and then this is gonna get plus five. Now, this is where things get interesting. Um, when does your need attacks? Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go face with this. Nine, so he's gonna need quite a bit of triggers there. He says he's thinking that's okay. Take your time, buddy. I'm just gonna sit here and listen to this lo fi. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay, so what was that number? 15, 20, 33, okay, cool, that's great. Uh, I'm going to put this into the soul to get plus 20K. Hold on, let me, uh, let me make sure. When your Vanguard attacks, all right, cool. Swing skill. I'm gonna stand this. Um, this is where you have to declare rush. So plus 15 to that makes that makes it 22. And then Vanguard. Even though you already PG'd it, I still have to do this. Uh, I'm gonna flip this over and this is gonna be 27 one two three and then this is gonna be 25 and then let's see first check second check Wow uh, all rear guard third check okay and then I'm gonna say GB three, draw, retire. Hmm. I'm still gonna go after this with the 41K. This will force him to either drop another perfect guard or to and hey, do I get to use my skill? Yes, I do. Counter charge one, soul charge one, draw a card. So again, I still feel like Victor is pretty playable in this meta. Uh, so let's see. Counter charge one. Uh, soul charge one, draw a card. So I do feel like Victor is still useful when it comes to certain things in this meta, uh, just because of how certain people 
you know, play and how it can be a little bit scary with certain things. So he's going to go back into that skill again. Uh, if you have three or more grade one or less units, when your opponent would call uh, from his or her hands, the guard must call three at the same time. I'm curious about this because his method is interesting. He doesn't have three grade ones yet, and he has to call whatever he's going to get here down. If you have three or more grade one or less units. So he really has to call down what's in his hand because I'm not afraid of this because this he's going to pick off my rear guards, I'm pretty sure, with some type of power. Okay. Okay. I see what he's going to do. Okay. He has his three. Blast one, stand this unit, and it gets power plus 5k, 15k. So, this is going to be swinging harder the second time. So, I should block it now. So, let's see. Um,. Hmm. 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 21. I don't need this many cards. So I can play around with his rule. What is it? Three cards? Okay. So one, two. going to be scary I'm gonna okay I have a plan for this I'm gonna no guard this now the only thing that would screw me over is a crit so as long as he doesn't get a critical trigger which he didn't okay he didn't get any triggers which is great he didn't go into his he's plus 3k so 28 uh, I think I do so I'm gonna G guard this I'm gonna go into during this turn. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, if the number of rear guards is less than your opponent's, which it is, sweet. So that's enough, and I didn't have to call from hand. And then, really interesting. You can have this, man. You can totally have that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna draw. Wow, this is powerful. This is powerful right here. Because what I'm actually about to do is this. I'm gonna ultimate stride. Vanguard, counter blast one, draw. Wow, this is even more powerful. I'm going to call this though. Three stand skill to Vanguard. Um, I'm going to use G guard skill. 
soul glass one flip it I'm gonna call this crit oh wait hold on then I'm gonna call that crit put in soul counter blast one so flip two more This needs to be zero out. And it's time to battle. I need to get rid of this blaster dark. That's the very first thing I need to do. So I need to see if he's actually gonna call that out. Perfect, he didn't. And then Yeah, I'm going to swing use skill to Counter blast once just stand this. Make sure two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten, ten. Going straight to your Vanguard, twenty six. Ooh. Hmm. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm going to go here. my opponent is not guarding or is he okay now I am going to swing use my skill to counter blast one and now you are zero K and then uh, stride skill I'm gonna stand this column and then I'm gonna say uh, rush because you have to clear it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So plus 25 makes that 35. And then this stands as well. He says no guard. So that's a first check. I'm going to give the power here, but I'm going to stand this. Second check. Third check. Hmm. I'm gonna say uh, stand skill. Shuffle it back in. Restand that. And then I'm just gonna keep hitting face. See what happens here. He has five cards in hand. He's gonna keep taking damage, but we're gonna see if he can take this amount. 20, 30. Nice. If only this had two crit. Okay. I can counter charge, but I can't soul charge. Okay, so he was able to re-ride. Let's see what's in his hand. Does he have a card to stride with? Now let's see what He's gonna do more Fessa. Um, kind of last one to retire two rear guards, draw two cards. So let's see what he's gonna do here. And now I must call two or more for my hand. What is he searching for? Does that have a skill? When placed. Oh, he's activating uh, his grade one skill. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. So he's grabbing this, okay. This is very, very interesting. I wonder if he knows what's in my hand. I wonder what two he's gonna retire. Really? Well, that would make sense. And he's clearly in Ritual 10, looking at his drop zone. I wonder what two cards he drew. 
because with this deck it doesn't matter what two cards you draw you are literally just going to call everything or at least scoop these two up which is useful for him okay and okay So is this our demise? We're gonna see in quite a second here. Forty-three, 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 forty-three. So that'd be twenty-one. Twenty-one. I don't think I have enough hand, but I'm gonna try. Let's see, this is gonna be uh, 21, 31, 41, I think it was 43. Was it 43? 38 plus five, 43, yeah, so, uh, 21. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna do something crazy here. I'm gonna do this. I can free stride, so I don't need this. And then I'm actually gonna do this. As long as he doesn't get a trigger, he gets a trigger. Oh man. Oh man. This guy is good. Oh man, oh man, 75K to crit. The power. 78 to crit, uh, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna make a miracle happen. Am I gonna make a miracle happen? What is gonna give me 25, 35, 45, GG man. One, two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a great match. I'm sorry I had to end that way, but I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this match. And this deck was strong, and this last match was great. Sorry for the long video, and I'll catch you guys later.